Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. All right, plenty of hot sunshine out there this evening, and you've still got many more hours to enjoy the weather around here before it starts to get stormy. Check this out here. We are tonight in northern Indiana from Fort Wayne over towards Lafayette. That is a cold front dropping south towards the Ohio River, and these showers and storms and time will make their way into greater Cincinnati, but we're expecting them to weaken some. So with that said, there is a severe thunderstorm watch out for at least part of the WLWT viewing area, and that's mainly our northern tier of counties here closer to Interstate 70. But even with that said, I expect that we'll probably see a weakening trend in storms as the evening progresses. Now, outside right now, radar is quiet. So if you've got something you need to do here over the next couple of hours, for the most part, you should be in good shape. Striking one lone shower out there earlier this afternoon. It was in Dearborn County. It's basically moved into the western part of Hamilton County, but this is all that's left. This little sprinkler shower here near New Haven, just to the west of 128, west of Ross out there. But again, this will be the exception versus the norm. Otherwise, look at these temperatures. It's 87 in Harrison, 91 in Westchester, 88 up in Mason right now, just hitting 89 in Sharonville. So in general, most areas around the metro are pretty much flirting with that 90 degree mark. So until any rain arrives, and that for the most part won't be until after 9 or 10 o'clock tonight, it's going to be a hot summer evening out there. 87 degrees at 7 o'clock, by 9 down to 84, and by 11 o'clock we should be dropping into the mid-70s. So here's a live look from Carew Tower as we look south into Newport right now, 87 at the airport. We've got a southwest breeze at 13. That actually makes it feel a little more comfortable because we've got the air moving around, stirring things up just a little bit. But that dew point up around 70, pretty sticky out there. All of us are generally close to 90 degrees. It's 91 Batavia, 89 up there in Springboro and Connorsville, 93 down over around Carrollton. So these showers and storms will drop south towards the Ohio River later on this evening and offer us some heat relief overnight tonight. And you can see them moving in on Futurecast. Notice, though, again, this isn't in general until after 9 or 10 o'clock tonight. Will that storm threat begin to move across the area? So it'll be a little noisy at times, probably, while you try to sleep tonight as that cold front crosses the area. But I think by tomorrow, morning. Most of the rain is out of here. We'll start with some clouds and then it'll be one of those days where it starts to feel progressively better until we get into more active weather on Wednesday. Come midweek, we'll probably have another bout of storminess and we'll have to keep a close eye on that activity. See if it could be severe too. So tonight 68 for an overnight low. So the next couple of hours, it's going to be dry around here. If you're doing anything outdoors, you've got to practice or scrimmage. We'll have some weakening storms, but they still could be noisy as you try to sleep tonight. Partly cloudy and less hot tomorrow. Look for a high of around 84. Here's your day planner 69 at 8 a.m. It will still be muggy to start your Tuesday, but it will start to feel better by afternoon with sunshine emerging. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Good chance for storms on Wednesday, and then it looks like on Thursday, most of us should be dry. There may be a storm threat to our south, but typical summer like weather around here. One thing to note, no intense heat or humidity, just pretty much where we should be here for mid to late June. I was loving it this weekend. Yeah. Can't get enough of it. Over